First, we open up the MMWave Studio software and navigate to the connection tab on the left to get started with setting up our radar. It is important to have the 60 gigahertz operating frequency and IWR 6843 device selected before proceeding onto the next steps. Next, we click reset to reset the system. Then connect in the box on the right to initiate the initial connection. After successful connection, we load the firmware to the radar device. Once the firmware is loaded, we click on the SPI disconnect and RF power up buttons. Next, we can navigate to the static config tab and first ensure only TX0 is enabled. Enabling the other RX channels can be useful for having multiple channels of ADC data to interpret. Once that is done, click set on ADC config, set on LP mode, and then RF init. Once completed with RF init, we navigate to the data config tab and click set on data path config, then set on clock config, and then this last set after checking that there should be two lane configs enabled. Next, we move on to sensor config and change the starting frequency to 60.25 gigahertz, frequency slope to 60 megahertz per microseconds, ADC samples to 512, then click set. After that, scroll down and click set. Once that is complete, scroll right to see a frame box where number of frames and number of trip loops are both changed to one, then click set. Lastly, click set up DCA 1000 on the leftmost column of the software and hit connect and capture. Minimize the tab after finishing. Now that our software is properly set up, we can begin recording raw ADC data. It is important to first load up the correct ADC binary data we want to write to before trying to record any data. After the .bin file or binary file is loaded up, we arm the DCA1000, then trigger our single frame. After the frame event and the message arrives, we can post-process the data. After post-processing the data, we will see lots of useful information, including the 1D FFT range profile, the 2D FFT amplitude, and time domain plots which should have both real and imaginary components. Here we demonstrate the scanning process for the 1D case, where the radar moves in a line. The 2D case follows a similar concept, but moves in both directions. During scanning, we send out one chirp and record the return signal. Then we move the radar by some small increment and repeat the measurement. This is repeated until we span the entire aperture. In post-processing, we first extract the IF data from the encoded ADC data, then we construct a data cube, which is saved as a 3D matrix. This data cube is then passed to the match filtering algorithm to form the image.